it's the physically, most physically demanding sport on the planet. You take all the hits of football and all the physicalness of football, but you condense it into a non-stop game where there's, there's basically no timeouts. You're constantly running. I mean, you make a tackle, you have to back up 10 meters. As soon as the guy stands up to play the ball, you're coming forward 10 meters. And you're backing up 10 meters again. You do that six times, and then somebody kicks the ball 70 yards on you. And you gotta go be on offense. It's 80 minutes non-stop. The, 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 the action never stops. It takes teamwork. It's an ultimate team game. You know what I mean? It's got big hits. It's got speed. It's got big plays. It's got offense. It's got defense. It's got everything. Like everything's just so quick, and it's it, it doesn't stop. And you gotta you gotta have the stamina and the endurance to play the game. <laughs> you need speed, you need agility, you need to be strong, you need to be physical. You can't be you can't be timid, you can't be afraid of, ta of, of tackling or getting tackled. Hello. <laughs> you take a pop and you wake up and you're like, you're playing rugby. You're like, you know, sometimes it's like, especially early in the game, you take a hit and you, and you wake up and you're like, maybe you weren't playing as hard as you could or you weren't awake yet. You take a hit and you're like, okay, now you're awake. Now, now you're ready to play. I love getting a good hit. I love getting, get, get, getting a good hit. Well, hey. Hello. In rugby league, uh, uh, basically all around you got to have tough guys because there's, there's really nowhere to hide. Having, you know, a 250 pound guy trying to crush you basically is, is good motivation for me to stay in shape. Every part of the game is definitely a big hit. Come up with one of your mates, two on one hit or just one on one hit and just smashing a guy. Just, just putting him backwards, putting him on his back, and looking in his eye knowing you dominated that guy. Knowing that you dominated him, one on one, man to man. And hi, my name's Kevin Wiggins. I'm an Aquarius. I like long walks on the beach and tackling. It's also a skillful sport where people in the NFL, big guys, they just smash and bash. When we got big guys who can make a step, run with the ball, pass the ball. You know, it's exciting to watch. It's always up out of your seat action. Well, look at those dancing feet. He should be on Dancing with the Stars with moves like that. It's something that I think you need to be born with, you know. You need to, you need to really have a knack for a high tolerance with pain and, um, you know, you really have to have a passion for, for for the team and and to get back up and be motivated, uh, you know, to help your your boys out that are that are by your side, you know. And like everybody's got to be fit. Everybody runs. Everyone tackles. Everyone scores. And Pat Quirk races off and dots almost under the sticks, taking the fight out to 52. The Philadelphia fight is more than just a bunch of guys that run around and bash and get drunk. It's a, it's. It's more of a, you know, I know all these guys. I've played with these guys for four years. These guys are more than just teammates. They're brothers. And Mr. Rich Hansen goes in for his second try. To it's almost like a fraternity, if you will. You know what I mean? You know, you travel together. You know, you, you, you room together. You know, you train together week in, week out. You know what I mean? It, to be a good team, you have to work together like a family. It is all heart, and it's all, uh, it's all about the game, because they're not getting anything for it. Uh, it's nice to get the, the title of national champion, but it's, it's uh, the guy three feet away from you, you know, knocking somebody's, uh, knock somebody's teeth in and taking all the pain and, and, and doing all the hard work when it's 95 degrees outside. Uh, that camaraderie, it's, uh, it's what gives it to you. All these guys, you know, we hang out all the time, good friends with them. There's a, a element of camaraderie that I really like. And it's a family. We always talk about family and, and, and being there for your brothers. And there's no other sport like rugby when you're on the field and you want to have guys that got your back because those other guys said they're trying to take your head off. And uh, it's a big commitment. You, like you said, you got to pay money out of your own pocket. You got to travel. Guys got families. And uh, you, you got to commit and put the time in. If you're doing all that, you figure you step on that field, you, you're not selling nothing less than what you got. Everything you got out there. After every season, I always say it's going to be my last, especially after we won the championship. I felt I was on the top, and I could kind of, kind of retire from the sport. But after uh, 
as they're seeing the guys and knowing that you know we got another shot at this at the trophy again. You just want to take it. You want to get back into it. You uh, you miss it. Winning the championship with a fill up fight in the USARL competition was great. I mean, it was it was it was awesome. I mean, I really felt. I felt, you know, there was something special about the season that throughout at each practice and stuff. You just felt this momentum building. You know, I, got, I immediately got hooked, even though uh, you know the championship game was in a hurricane. Uh, watching watching the sport is uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, you got to rush just sitting on the sideline watching it. It's, it was absolutely uh, amazing. I mean. The conditions were, were insane. You're talking about hurricane winds and, and cross rain, and I mean, you're drenched within two minutes, uh, just sitting on the in the stands and stuff. And uh, you know, j just watching the the hard pounding hits and s people sliding across the field, the slop. I mean, it's like, it's like a war zone, you know. And and it's it, afterwards, you know, it's just a sport. So everyone's still friends. Everyone hangs out, and and everything's you know good you know by the time the second half came you know what I mean we were uh, we were all getting drenched the wind was blowing and you know you know we were just waiting for that final whistle to blow when we uh, converted that kick with two minutes left you know what I mean and, and that was a great moment man it was it was almost surreal you know given the the atmosphere and the, and the weather conditions and all that I couldn't be much happier I mean uh, the guys you know four years ago we were 0 and 8 three years in a row leading up to that and uh, we got the bright bunch of guys on board uh, they cared about the game they they cared about learning but they just loved the game kind of like Bowie and I and some of the other guys used to and uh, it's it's infectious and contagious and uh, they jumped on board and that's what took us where we are now for your viewing pleasure we have the one the only Philadelphia fight vixens ladies um, we're actually part of the dance team, so we um, try to get the spirit up in the crowd and support the guys through everything um, during the season. We dance a lot during the half times and before the game. They don't wear any equipment, so it's literally like you're, we're on the field during the game, so you see everything. You see everything, yeah. you hear everything when they hit, they hit each other hard, and they like, I mean, it's a tough sport. Like, Makes football look really wimpy. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of the main attractions is just the, the level of competition everybody's playing at. Everyone's hitting. The game's just non-stop action. It's always going on. The ball's always rolling. We don't get timeouts. We don't stop. It's just it's usually straight through. The, the action never stops. It's more like basketball, where you can be on offense at one point, and then just a split second later, you can be on defense. Great chase down there. If you like football, hockey, any kind of sport where where there's intense, like there's contact, you're gonna see. E even if you like boxing or, or MMA, like it, the kinds of people that are that are into those kinds of sports, you know, there's like warrior type. You're gonna see someone get bloodied up a little bit. Um, that's the type of thing you come out to a rugby game to watch. And e even like soccer fans can get into it too, because there's it's such a mix of like that soccer type, it's on the same size field, constantly running, constantly offense and defense, but you throw in all the hitting and everything that football fans and hockey fans like. And it's real easy to understand rugby league, because it's just like football. You get six downs instead of four, and you basically run up, you smash into three guys, and everybody backs up and you do it again. And everybody loves, you know, three or four hundred tackles a game, and they don't get that in football. And I love it. Eighty minutes in between the lines, and, that, and that's it. I love it. It's awesome. Each year, we get more and more of a group of people to come out, and they're such loyal fans that it's so great to see. Like each season, the crowd grow a little more, and rugby league really like start to grow in the U.S. So. And seeing the family and the friends yeah. come out um, definitely really helps with, you know, supporting the players. If I could give words to anybody, it'd be come out and give it, give it a couple weeks, give it a shot. Yeah, it's it's nice weather. It's during the summertime. The fans come out. You know, you get beautiful weather. We're the new boys of summer. Hey,